Good morning. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. You might be like, Matt, <laughs> wrong channel, bro. We're actually at the range right now. So this is Demolition Ranch. I just wanted to show you something kind of cool. So it's been just kind of steadily raining for a while. And we have a river just running through Demo Ranch right now. So peaceful and serene, just going along its way. Let's go up river a little bit. This is actually pretty neat. This is a spring that whenever it rains, I don't know, a moderate amount, like it doesn't have to even rain a ton, like a moderate amount, it opens up these little springs and they start running and a river just goes straight through our range right here. And it's a pretty good flow. I mean, this has been going for like a week now, just flowing a little river straight through, right past our range. So what I want to see though, which I've never seen, is further up. The spring is like way up. There's a big squirrel. The spring is way up that way, and it's really hard to get to. I don't actually know where it starts, but I know there's a waterfall up there. So I'm gonna do some hiking. I mean, when I say way up, it's like a mile this way. But I want to get there. Look at this cool little stream. So peaceful with all of this nature right there just really really relaxing with nature also makes me wonder like if i dug a huge hole here if i got like a backhoe in here and dug a big hole if i could have a big pond here because this thing's been flowing for a week and it hasn't rained like that much also we find golf balls all over this property like because there's hills all around it, and I think people in the past have just sat up on top of the hill just hitting golf balls, and every time it rains, they wash like the dirt off the top of them, and we find more golf balls. See, like, what if, like, just right here where this little pond is, we just dug a huge hole. I could have ponds everywhere. I had to go off the river because it got too thick. I can hear it, though. I'm coming back to where I think the waterfall is. I haven't seen it in a long time. I've never seen it flowing, flowing, but I haven't seen where it is in a long time. Oh yeah, I definitely hear it. How do I get down there though? This is much steeper than it looks on camera. And it's really thick. Okay. It sounds awesome down here. I still can't see anything though. Ooh, I guess I'll go under this. Cool. How neat is this? This is all just spring water pouring out. That could be the waterfall there. Also kind of looks like it down. I don't, I might have missed it. I don't know. I'm going to go up that way. Wow. This is not it. <laughs> but this is a waterfall. I would show you me getting here, but like freaking just crawling on my hands and knees. So cool. So cool. Now which way is the waterfall? That up or down? <sighs> okay. I only have time to go one direction because I need to go up to the bunker and do some stuff. <sighs> so I'm gonna go down. I think it's, I think it's downstream. If not, I'll come back and check it out later. My plan is to kind of develop this better. Whoa! So that we can come out here easier and don't have to like crawl through brush. Just haven't got there yet. Down was wrong. It's a Russian stream down there, but it's not a waterfall. Should have gone up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I always thought it'd be really cool oh, God. to have enough property that I didn't know at all. Ugh. And we get lost on it. Mission accomplished. I got no idea where Earl is. Hey, look! Another golf ball. I told you, these things are everywhere out here. I have no idea how someone hit so many golf balls but I bet there are a thousand all over this property. Found a road, that's a good, oh, nope. That's not, a, oh, there's Earl. Ha. Earl, I see you. Oh. I got new boots. They're brand new, literally the first time I've worn them when got them all gross. They're Twisted X, which first time I ever had Twisted X boots. They are waterproof, I can tell you that. Mayor was like, hey, where are you going? We gotta go do some stuff at the bunker. And I was like, I'm just gonna go out and check something at the ranch. And then I got super sweaty and muddy. She should know this by now that that's gonna happen though. Okay, Lincoln has had this glorious mullet for a while. Not glorious. <laughs> Are you getting rid of it? I don't like it. Why I not? Keep it. It looks so good. Oh. But he says it's time. Like, look at 
Look at this. It's, it actually curls, like it's not curling right now very much, but it'll It start. was just getting good, but. Yeah, it's just starting to curl, like where it just, curl, especially when it's humid outside, it just start curling like that, but he's saying he didn't want it, so we are going to trim off his glorious mullet. It's not glorious. <laughs> All right, ready? Say goodbye to being cool. I'm not cool. Oh no. Oh no. Man. Sad day, bud. Sad, I loved your long hair. Sad, not sad, sad day. What do you think? Good. It's not a mullet, but. Why would it be? <laughs> you look good. Learn how to cut your kid's hair. It's the cutest thing ever. Look how cute he is. Filming on my iPhone now. This camera is what I film everything on, but check it out. Not showing anything. Hey, I broke another camera. I got it wet. Not a surprise. Turn power off, then on. Got it. Okay, off, on, on. It opens up, but it's just not showing anything. Like it should be showing the floor down there. Now what's interesting is I can still look at the last clip I took. Well, turn on. I can still look at the last clip I took. There's Lincoln with his awesome hair. But then whenever this opens up to take a new video, it just does nothing. Nothing. Dang it. Okay, uh, another one bites the dust. But. Beautiful day. I had a bunker branding. Can't see anything because we got this like screen on the outside of the windows. It just is holding water. We started this giant warehouse where we were selling YouTubers merchandise and then uh, Meredith started having like a little boutique. Meredith had a, a uh, can't talk. It's called the Link Boutique where she would uh, find cute clothes and make little collections. Yeah, it was fun. That's what I, is that what it is? Yeah. I nailed it. Yeah. So then she started her activewear brand, which is actually all her custom design stuff, where she's actually picking out everything and designing it. That is taking a lot of Meredith's time and a lot of warehouse space. We just signed a few more influencers as well. We have Rich Rebuilds, who just came on and is selling his merchandise through the bunker right now, which is really exciting. Uh, so we need more bin space for all that kind of stuff. This stuff is where all the Link Boutique stuff is. So we are clearing it out and Meredith is actually shutting down the Link Boutique. I am. It's a little bit sad because this is like the first thing that I kind of ventured into on my own, but I just don't have time. Yeah, it's going to be good. And I want to be able to like consolidate all my efforts into one place and that's the activewear stuff. So we've been scaling things back for a while. Um, we had everything down there, moved it up here and consolidated everything, but now just everything's gotta go. So all the shoes that are over here, all of these two racks or rows of clothes. Dang, that will be nice to have all that space. Yeah, we gotta get them all out of here. So everything on Link Boutique will be 50 to 75 percent off what starting right now and yeah it's just close out everything is final sale buy what you want hope you love it it's really 50 to 75 percent off yeah we gotta get rid of this so that we can make room for i'm down our next link active because this is something you haven't been excited about like i mean you have but just not compared to all the link active yeah. stuff it's really fun the link active stuff is just much more up my alley. Yeah. And I get to like actually put pieces together and design stuff. Yes. Um, and create like our own collections. So that's been really fun. This was really fun too, but. Can you show three things that you have so people get an idea of what this is? Guys, none of this is for y'all, just so you know. Just, uh, just want to be upfront. It's all packaged. Yeah. Wait, over here. There's some bags, like some summer beach bags. Look, there's there's, there's this thing and, and that thing. It's a dress. There's cute. Tops and jumpsuits and dresses, graphic tees and hoodies. Guys, if you're looking to get something for your wife, your girlfriend, uh, 
it's all 75 to 50 percent off and we want it gone right now out of here gone so we can fill up more stuff with link active <laughs> is there water on the ground is our storefront waterproof oh dude we can, yeah we cannot make this building waterproof We've tried everything. Which we don't know. Which that window is on the other side of that wall. Right. Mean, which they means that it's running along. We think that that's where it's coming from. Yeah. And then running down the wall. We assume. We don't know. It's coming from up high. We know that. Also, this dog, Fluffy, who's just on Demolition Ranch, he's up here in the bunker branding storefront. If you would like to come give him a pet. We also have... <laughs> little spring here as you can see right there so the highway is up there and there's a seat a little spring somewhere in here and this all even I mean it hadn't rained in a few days and these have been running like water faucets for like a week it's just been pouring out that much water which is pretty weird I mean, you can see there's like green stuff growing because it's been wet for a week so we have a little spring at Bunker Branding too, and we just happened to put this wall up in front of it and some little drains. Didn't think they'd drain that much. They're just freaking pouring. So weird. So uh, I don't know if y'all know, but I really like springs. <laughs> so I think it's so cool. So this water fills up this parking lot over here. So then it comes over here, drains right there. And then we've got the Bunker Branding River. El Rio de Bunker Branding is flowing down to our detention pond over there. So, is that wall full of water right behind it? And someday it's gonna open up and smash one of our employees' cars? Only time will tell. Holden Bros Diesel, they are the ones who are building my 12 valve Cummins and it is nearly done. They just have a few like finishing touches they need to put on it. But they, Holden Bros, just started a YouTube channel. And I am big fans of these guys, and I'm always a big fan of someone who wants to start a YouTube channel and put themselves out there and take a, you know, take a little leap of faith and, and push themselves to do something different. And so these guys did it. Uh, so they have the engine build going on there on their channel. That's their first video, which is pretty cool. And I am going to put, they sent me the footage too, so I can share it with you guys on this video. But before you watch it, just go subscribe to their channel or after you watch it or while in the middle of it, because they're gonna be doing a lot more crazy stuff and we'll be using them for a lot more crazy stuff. I have a lot of ideas that involve diesel and those guys know how to make it happen. It's looking amazing and it's gonna be so good. Go check out Holden Bros Diesels, linked in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time.
Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.